All right, so I'm here with the F250, and the, uh, over there in its shadow is the uh, GMC Sierra. We don't currently have a Silverado in stock, but it's basically the same thing. Uh, I guess I could have moved a Ram over here too, but I mean, you don't take a donkey to the Kentucky Derby, do you? Anyway, as you can sure you can tell by the title, I'm gonna be talking about aluminum versus steel beds, uh, and I'm gonna give you some facts. So we've all seen this commercial. Yep, the one with some bricks are dropped in from about five feet up. Because that's how I load my bed, and of course you too. But let's actually look at the pros and cons of an aluminum bed. I mean, there is a reason that GM were planning on switching in 2018, but backed out in the last second. Maybe their advertising campaign had something to do with that. However, most people's number one concern is strength. So let's talk about it. Steel and aluminum. Aluminium to me, but we won't get into that. Both come with their reputations in our daily lives. Steel composes the backbone of our skyscrapers, it's in our roads, in our train tracks, it's even our pots and pans. Aluminum on the other hand is our flimsy foil, our crushable cans. No way that could be used in our truck bed, right? Wrong. This would be a better argument if aluminum truck beds were built from pure aluminum. But they're not. They're built from aluminum alloys, which is substantially stronger. Yes, more is used. But the end result is a truck bed that weighs 10 to 15 percent less than a steel one that translates to hundreds of pounds that could be used as cargo weight and ford aren't the only ones to have figured this out airplane manufacturers have been replacing steel with aluminum for years and the majority of nasa space shuttles are constructed from aluminum alloys it's probably also worth mentioning that aluminum bodies outperform steel ones in the crash tests which many people argue is the best gauge of strength and actually you can see proof in a video we recently uploaded of a car crashing into two of our F-150s over there. Both kinds of truck beds require upkeep, but the biggest issue with the aluminum truck bed is simply lubricating the hinges and latches. Steel ones on the other hand must be examined constantly in order to prevent rust. Any scratches in the paint need to be touched up or the steel will start to oxidise. I know what your next argument is going to be too, a major repair is a lot more expensive on aluminum than steel, uh, not anymore. Before aluminum became popular, Welders were familiar with steel and therefore claimed aluminum was hard and or difficult to work with. But that's not true. It was simply another trick to learn. Consequently, the price has gone down, so the cost to get an aluminum truck bed repaired is indifferent to a steel one. So aluminum truck beds are easy to look after, resist rust and are stronger. It all sounds good, right? But how does it compare when driving? Well, owners who have had both steel and aluminum beds consistently say that they get a smoother ride with the aluminum especially when carrying a load. And of course, less weight means much better gas mileage. The fact that steel rusts presents a problem when reselling it. Steel beds that are only a couple of years old often have patches of rust. Older ones can even present a safety hazard. Whereas aluminum bed owners can keep theirs looking like new for decades with just routine maintenance and a bit of cleaner. These are just two reasons why aluminum trucks command a high resale price. And as many aluminum buyers have discovered, they have longer and better warranties which makes buying one a lower risk investment than buying steel. Now let's get technical. Steel is stronger than aluminum in some respects. It has a higher modulus of elasticity, for instance, which means more force must be applied to steel before it starts to bend. However, aluminum flexes three times more than steel, which means that aluminum is more likely to spring back to its original shape after being stressed. Steel, though, will probably stay bent. Steel also fatigues at a lower levels of stress than aluminum, and steel's rigidity makes it more vulnerable to cracking because of its brittleness. You might also be interested to know that aluminum's lower modulus of elasticity works in its favour as a construction material for truck beds. A lower elastic modulus means that an all aluminum truck bed lessens impact shock loads while on the road, giving you a smoother ride. So to summarise, aluminum is better. Yeah, steel can do the job, but aluminum is better. The bed's not going to rust, it's going to last longer, you're going to get better miles per gallon, it's easy to work on, all the benefits are there. So, come on GM, you've been using aluminum in, in your trucks for years. You know all the benefits, so just admit your ad campaign was a mistake, and then you won't have to push back any more future plans. Thank you for watching, give us a like, share, or subscribe, or whatever social media you are watching this on, we appreciate it. Thank you.